Okay, so now Deb is going to demonstrate for us the old-fashioned way to make a yo-yo um, without any special tools. But you're first going to need to cut your four-inch circle, four inches being the size we're making. Uh, if you look in the tutorial, you'll see the formula to decide what size to make. But uh, here are just a few tools that you could use to speed up the cutting process of the circles. Obviously, old-fashioned scissors, the Ulta circle cutter ruler, uh, I mean, a rotary cutter and perfect circles if it happens to be in the size that you are looking for. So, start with a circle and we'll come back and Deb will demonstrate Okay, this. Deb, what's the first step? Just doing a nice quick press and then we're going to turn under all the way around the circle a quarter inch. Oh, so you're just pressing just under. pressing. And being careful not to burn your fingers. Yes, <laughs> and a mini iron would work fine for this oh, too. Right. Why don't you pull back a second so we can see what you've done. So you're just pressing it all the way around. Are you using Correct. steam or does it matter? No, I would not use steam because you don't want to burn yourself okay. on that. So. Okay, we'll come back as soon as she's finished. Though. Okay, so here it's been pressed all the way around and Deb, you gave that one last shot of, of actual steam, right? Yeah, using the large iron you, you have more of a surface on so you can Pull your fingers back and give a burst okay. of steam. To so help. you basically just try to get a gentle curve all the way around with a quarter inch finish. Correct. So now your next step. Now I'm going to take my extra long piece of thread mm -hmm. and I'm going to be starting on this back side mm -hmm. going through both those layers. That and are you nodding layer. your thread? I am not nodding my okay. thread. You just leave a tail. Just leave a nice tail. Okay. And just go from the back side this side here, leaving oh about a three inch tail. Okay. And then I'm coming back through. And so this is a running stitch. Just a running stitch going around, just kind of like a gather. Baste. It's just a real just a basting stitch, okay. right? And leaving that tail out of the way there. <laughs> okay. Always the challenge with handwork. So I and try to make those stitches as even apart as you can. Okay. So now and once you've gotten going, I see. You now can. I'm just doing it really quickly here, taking up about two, three stitches at a time. Okay. So you're going to go all the way around. Yeah. That little <laughs> tail out of the way is kind of difficult in starting. Okay. So hold it out flat so I can just see. We've got. Just a running stitch, basic running stitch. Okay, so we'll have Deb finish that up and come back in a minute. Okay, so Deb has uh, hand basted all the way around, and on that very last bit she went over one stitch so that it's overlapping. So now we've got the tail and the one with the thread on it still. Let me just show you the other side. You can see it's just hand basted. It's not um, a work of art, it's just uh, roughly all the way around. Now we'll show you the next Okay, step. what's the next step, Deb? Okay, so now I'm going to cut off, leaving another long tail. Okay. And then I'm going to gently pull and gather up. And you you have both threads, both, both the tail? Both tails okay. here. And just gently pulling each side. So you're just kind of gathering all the way around evenly. That gives this little cut look here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's starting to form. I can see it now. And so gently, and gently pull on that, bringing that center closed. Okay. And this is why you use strong thread, because right at this moment is where you're putting the most pressure on that That's thread. That's right, because you're having to pull all those layers together. Okay, so it looks like you've pulled it as tight as you possibly can, so it's right. a tiny little hole in the center, and now I assume you knot it? That's correct. You want a finger? Sure, that would help. That. Okay. Knot it twice. Knot okay. it twice. So that's the front, or the top of the yo-yo, and flip it over for the other side, and that's the back. So that's the old-fashioned way. A little bit more work. Um, I think really the biggest difference is that turning under the quarter inch all the way around than um, when you're using the tool, the yo-yo uh, circle tool. Um, but if you don't want to use any fancy contraptions, it's uh, 
pretty easy, pretty straightforward.